lights. Oh, you could hear that. It must be sense. <laughs> ah, all right. Technique with Beethoven. Dominant seventh chord. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and speak and say those chords? So could you uh, just speak tonic one while you play that C chord? Okay, that's a tonic one chord. And then we have D and E. And then this is. Yeah, uh, and instead of IV, call it a four chord. Okay. It's a Roman numeral. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then the dominant seventh chord is what? Good, and what's the other name for a dominant seventh? A five. Oh, five, seven. seven. Good, and tell me the name of that subdominant chord again. Oh, the Roman subdominant numerals. is four. A four, good, and then the dominant is a five, five seven. Good, and then there's an A, and then a B, and then a C. Very nice. Good. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the primary chords in the key of what? G is next. G major. Good. All right, so I said, or I didn't say, Beethoven said, as you play each chord, drop your wrist and forearm, right, using arm weight, right? And notice your arm hanging freely from your shoulder joint. Yeah, yeah good. All right, tonic one. Sharp in there. <gasps> Smart. Seven is the same as a five seven. Good. And then the next chord, you just omit the third mm. of that chord. Good. And then the other way you can play. Good. So now let's play it in the key of D. D. So now what two sharps do you have to remember through the whole thing? C sharp and F sharp. Yes, exactly. All right. Go ahead and speak them again. D major. One chord again. D major. F sharp. Four chord. Great. And then...